Well, to Queens, where we are learning new details on what caused that massive fire that displaced over 100 people. The FDNY says that fire was started by a construction worker using a hand torch. Here's the latest now with Eyewitness News reporter Johnny Fernandez. What are, what, what are the officials saying at this point, Johnny? Good morning, by the way. Yeah, good morning. And the Department of Building, they are saying that at this point, some work has to get done, such as a temporary roof has to go up into the building so any people could be able to go back inside and really see what is left over of their apartment. So take a look. This is what is going up right now. At this moment, we know that scaffolding is going up around the building. Uh, that is a sign of these repairs that will have to get done. But again, at last check, 88 families, they have registered with the Red Cross. And over 130 firefighters, they've responded to this massive inferno on Wednesday. According to the FDNY Fire Marshal's office, the illegal use of a torch is what caused the fire. It says a contractor was using that torch to heat lead paint off a metal closet door frame from a vacant apartment. The FDNY says that the contractor was authorized to do work here, but not all work, including using that torch, and didn't act quickly enough to put out the fire. They thought the fire had been put out, and it wasn't until it got bad and people actually started smelling the smoke and called uh, that we arrived and the fire was significantly advanced. Now, the community also stepping in to help these families during the holiday season by providing personal care items. Now, again, it's unsure when these families will be able to go into uh, their apartments. Again, the water damage is extensive in these homes. And we do know that the FDNY, they also, uh, they're going to be issuing three criminal substances to the uh, owner of this contracting company. Reporting from Sunday.